Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode. This one I wanted to comment on a comment that I got on my YouTube channel. So this comes from the Classic Man channel, and he says, you don't need you don't need a college degree to be a web developer because people with advanced college degrees create libraries so that people without a college degree can get a job. Do you need a college degree to be a web developer? No. Do you need a college degree to be able to write a web server? Yes. Or if you don't have a college degree, you were born smart and would have succeeded regardless. The last time I checked, most people are not smart. So it's kind of funny or fitting that his name of his channel is Classic Man Channel because this is sort of your classic know-it-all. You're not a real developer unless you have uh, a degree and that sort of thing. And it's always in all these different ways like, oh, you need a college degree to be able to write a, write a web server or whatever. So I get, I've get i been getting a lot of these comments lately. So let me just sort of go back through this again. So uh, the first thing, like my first thought on all of this is, really the the answer of do you need a degree in order to be a developer or do developers need a degree is it almost always depends on the job that you're applying for there's no sort of hard fast rule some jobs will have no degree requirement some jobs it'll be a plus and some jobs it will be an absolute requirement so it depends on what you want to do and what career path you want to take what job you're applying for and this is why I always sort of go back to the career path thing. When you sit down and look at your career path and you you take the time to do that and lay that out, then the languages that, that you need to learn, whether you need a degree or not, all of those things become a lot more clear uh, because, again, certain paths are going to require certain things. And, you know, for being a web developer, uh, you know, you don't, I just don't see the value of, of a degree for someone who wants to be a web developer. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with wanting to be a web developer. I don't think you need to want to have to, you don't have to want to be into all of, you know, all the AI and machine learning and then have to want to write a web server and all this sort of thing. Like it's okay to not want to do that. And, and so I think a lot of times this comes from that sort of this elitist perspective of, you should want the you should value the same things that I value. You should want to be the same kind of developer that I want to be, and therefore you need to do the things that I'm saying that you need to do. And the reality is, is you get to make your own choices. You get to do what you want. And so, again, as I said, it almost always depends on the career path and the job you're applying for, and so forth. But beyond that, you know, companies want to see more what you've done really than necessarily your education. And so a portfolio of projects or products or things that you've contributed to is almost always going to be worth more than schooling. And this is not in the developer community, but I experienced this uh, firsthand when I went to apply at a, applied for a manager position at a window and door factory. And they had on there that you had to have a four year degree, degree in order to be able to apply for that position. I applied anyway without the degree because I had, been in management for probably five, six years at that point. And so I went into the interview and, you know, they, I think they asked one question about the degree versus the experience or whatever. And I, I basically told them, you know, I, yeah, I don't have my degree. I'm X number of classes away. And, you know, I've been a manager. I've been doing management for five, six years. I got the job, even though on their thing, it said it was a, de the degree was a requirement. So a lot of companies don't even stand by this sort of thing. At the end of the day, what they want is someone who knows what they're doing. And sure, a degree can, in certain situations, be an indicator of that and all these other things like you can stick to something or whatever. But, you know, actually doing the job, actually delivering on projects and products and so forth is going to be much more compelling in that regard than uh, a degree. So... Uh, at the end of the day, it, it, it would if even if you're getting a degree, get involved with projects, get involved and try and get you know an internship or try and you know do something to be able to add to your portfolio these sorts of things because those are ultimately going to be more compelling uh, than your years of schooling. Getting it into just some of the numbers, if you want hard numbers, so Stack Overflow uh, in their 2016 developer survey found that 56% of developers, in fact, do not have a degree. So there are plenty of developers in real jobs 
out there, you know, doing their thing that do not have a degree. Uh, I've referenced this one before, but Indeed.com estimates that by 2020, there will be 1.3 million developer jobs available and only 400,000 CS degrees. So there's going to be about a 900,000 job uh, developer shortage. And so there's going to be lots and lots of developers that are going to be filling positions that do not have uh, a CS degree or a degree. So again, do you need a degree in order to be a developer? No, I mean, it's just obvious, just looking at the numbers, looking at the situation, you do not need a a degree in order to be a developer, in particular, a web developer. I don't know that it's even useful. So now the, the, the common rebuttal here is, yeah, okay, kind of what he says, you don't need a degree to be a web developer, but if you want to be a real developer, if you want to be an elite developer, right, if you want to uh, it's people with advanced college degrees that create libraries for so forth. And so it's kind of this, if you want to be an elite developer, you need a degree. And I'll just sort of throw back, you know, some of the biggest names that we know in tech don't have degrees. So, you know, Steve Wozniak, I'll throw jobs in there, even though I don't know if you a hundred percent consider him a developer, but those two no degree, Kevin Rose, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who founded Microsoft, Larry Ellison, who created Oracle, you you can just go on and on down the list of all of these people that are the top of the tech world who created these amazing things, um, who don't, don't have their degrees, never finished the degrees or at the time when they did these things, they didn't have their degree. So, you know, again, do you, does, do you need a degree in order to be a delete developer? I don't think that's true either. And so it sort of comes back actually to the last couple couple lines here of this comment, which is, or oh, if you don't have a college degree, you were born smart and you would have succeeded regardless. Last time I checked, most people are not smart. The reality is, is with most things, if you're smart, you'll probably do well. And if you're not, you probably won't. Like that's not a, <laughs> to me, that's not just some insightful statement that that's uh, sort of an obvious fact of about of life uh, when it comes to just about anything that if you're smart you're probably going to have a little bit easier time than if you're not so uh you know again if you're if you're someone who uh sees themselves as smart or knows that they're smart then yeah you can get by without some of this stuff and maybe if you're not as uh, smart or don't think you are then a degree might mildly help you a little bit but at the end of the day, the person who who actually is smarter and able to perform and produce on a consistent basis, and that's not always 100% tied to intelligence either, but the person who's able to produce and, and perform at the end of the day is the person who's going to win, degree or not. So that should be the focus. If you need a degree to do that, then by all means, get a degree, but at least weigh would think about it a little bit, you know, don't get caught into this automatic idea that you have to just go get a degree. And that's the only way that you can do any of this. The only way you can be an elite developer, any of that stuff. There's, there's plenty of ways to do it. Uh, and just do what you need to do for you and don't really worry about, uh, any, anybody else when it comes to that. So that's sort of my take on all of this. Of course, uh, if you want, if you want to go the route, the non-degree route and learn web development and all that sort of thing, I do have a full curriculum that will help you to do that over on Skillshare. The nice thing about it being there is you can get access to it for nothing. So you're going to learn HTML and some CSS and JavaScript and PHP and MySQL and if you want to get into freelancing, you learn that over there as well. Uh, all sorts of training for you to to start moving down that developer path. And again, you can get access to it for nothing. So if you want all the details on that, you can go to johnmorrisonline.com slash Skillshare. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.